Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here. Pennsylvania is zone six. It's early April and you know, it's still around 42 degrees outside right now. So it's been a slow start for the garden season. But anyhow, today I thought I would share with you 18 of my favorite garden tools that I use around my property. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So I have my garden tool arsenal all lined up over at my outdoor garden structure slash workstation. So follow me over there. So I'm over here at my garden structure. And you know, I was thinking that maybe this video may be helpful for those who or just starting out with gardening or even perhaps those who have been gardening for a while you know maybe they're just not familiar with all the tools that we that are available uh, there certainly is plenty of them to choose from now most of my tools I probably have gotten used throughout most of my life being a contractor I've always loved going to yard sales or auctions and you know so I've only paid a couple dollars for my rakes and shovels and a few things I have bought brand new but uh, I've always liked to get a bang for my buck no matter what I do and so uh, occasionally like I said I do buy some things new but let's uh, just take a closer quick look at all the tools that I have lined up here. Bailey's also joining me out here in the garden. He just got his hair cut yesterday. His hair was really long there. We didn't get it cut over the winter, but he just has hair, so it's not as insulating, I think, as fur. And so uh, he definitely looks a lot uh, thinner with his hair cut. He's, I think he weighs nine pounds. But anyhow, let's uh, start from the, from the right and work to the left here. Some of my favorite tools are here on the right. Uh, this is my, my garden fork. And um, it's probably one of my most used garden tools. I don't even know where I got this from, but I got it years ago. It's a four tine fork here. It's made out of steel. You can also get them out of cast iron, but you know, even some of the new tools you buy may even have warranties with them, you know, but it certainly pays to buy good tools. That way they're gonna last a long, long time. And I also took this garden fork here and I modified it. I welded some one inch brackets on top. And uh, it just gives more placement for my foot, for my arch. And it just makes it a lot more user friendly. I also added a, a three quarter inch copper pipe to the top handle here and I just use two radiator, radiator hose clamps but this garden fork is good for digging in the soil it's good for turning your soil it's good for aerating your soil I think you often see me in my garden videos before I do some direct sowing out in the garden or even planting transplants or seedlings I'll go through the garden and till this in a good 12 inches and and then move it back and forth to really help loosen that soil to aerate the soil you know because the looser the soil the further those roots are going to spread far and wide and as a result of that you're going to get healthier larger more productive plants so number two in my arsenal this is called a, a scuffle hoe or maybe an action hoe 
it kind of looks like a a stirrup you'd see on a horse saddle you know you put your foot in there but this actually has two cutting blades on it and it's good for for weeding your garden it's excellent for weeding you run this about an inch below your soil and it kind of decapitates the weeds I also use this to uh, cultivate my soil too but a lot this is a tool a lot of people aren't familiar with and I would highly recommend you to think about buying one of these uh, this is a nice it has a nice long handle on it and you can even sharpen this blade tip with a, a hand file you know a metal file it's good to keep this sharp uh, you can use a file on a lot of your tools uh, you know your digging shovels and all you can it's always good to go through it every fall or early spring go through your tool collection and sharpen them up so it, it pierces the soil easier uh, next here on the list is another one of my favorite tools is my cultivator hoe tool again it's got about a five foot handle but this is just handy to to use around the garden and some of these tools obviously you can also use in your flower beds Billy's over there eating my one kale plant that I have left in the garden what are you doing Bailey you eating that kale that's a good boy I also use this for when I plant my potatoes you know typically potatoes you want about a three inch trench a couple inches long and then you just plant these and uh, put the potatoes in the trench about 10 12 inches apart and then and then uh, you just backfill it with a rake but you know this is a great tool for doing potatoes and just general work around the garden and so next on my list is a, a digging shovel I'm sure most of you have seen actually a lot of these tools uh, but again this is handy to have around the, the garden this has a nice uh, rubber handle on it uh, overlaid the, over the wood and this is this is nice uh, also another thing to consider is, is buying outdoor tools with fiberglass handles you know then you don't have to run the risk of of uh, breaking them but again I, I think this shovel I got at an auction I only paid a couple dollars for it. but again this is great for all-purpose digging in the soil and uh, you can't go wrong by having one of these in your garden and again like this edge along here it's good to keep this sharp so every season before the season starts you can go over the edge with a a file and uh, to sharpen that it'll make it a little bit easier digging your holes and then next here this is a like a transfer shovel obviously it's a got a, a flat front on it but it's it's good for transferring soil for lifting soil and scooping up soil or mulch in your garden say you have some mulch on your driveway or compost and you want to obviously pick it up you know this flat shovel is going to scoop it up really nice this is a rigid tool here uh, made by rigid a good long handle on it again another good tool to have in your garden and then this here is a flat flat nosed spade here it, you know this has a D handle on it and this is just good for for all-purpose edging and and digging in your soil sometimes it's good to I use this again you want to make sure the points nice and sharp on this but this is good for cutting roots if you have roots on in trees that you need to cut or roots anywhere this is good for that and then next this is a, a shovel that's used for when you're transplanting bushes you know in your garden rose bushes uh, butterfly bushes any type of azaleas small bushes uh, this has a a really long tip on it long end if you were to compare that to a digging shovel you know you can see how much longer and narrow it is and it also has it this is a fiberglass handle to de-handle but this great this is great because you can scoop in real dig in real deep all around the perimeter of the root and in order to transplant your your bush so again this is this is something I use more in my flower garden but it's a still good tool to have around the house 
And next door, I have some rakes here. This is a fiberglass handle rake. This is a bow rake. You know, it's good for smoothing out your soils in your garden, especially, you know, when you're done tilling your soil with your garden fork, you can go through this to break up the chunks of dirt, or if you need to remove any stone anywhere in your soil, this is good for that. I also have a, another rake here. It's similar to the other one. It's not quite as wide, but this has a nice flat back on it. And this is nice. Sometimes you can just turn this over to smooth the soil in, in your um, raised beds. You know, occasionally during the filming of these garden videos, I get helicopters or airplanes that fly over, so I have to go shut the camera down. I use a shotgun mic on this camera and it really picks up a lot of the environmental noises. You know, that's one reason it's nice that you can really hear the birds in the woods because it's a shotgun type mic, it's a directional mic. But anyhow, next on the list I have a couple leaf rakes. This is a leaf rake. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. Good for raking up leaves and just general cleaning up around the garden. Now this, this is again something I got from a, an auction. This is a little bit another leaf rake. I got this for a dollar one time a couple years ago at an auction. And this particular rake has a, a nice aluminum handle on it and uh, you know, it's got a nice wide end on it, so for raking up the leaves. I'll even sometimes go over my raised beds with something like this, or, or my flat-sided steel rake. Uh, this is another good, like a garden fork. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six-tine one. Uh, this is good for, for mulch or wood chips. Uh, and uh, it's got a nice long wooden handle on it. Again, something really handy to have around, especially if you have to move a lot of compost in the garden. Uh, this works a little bit nicer, really, than a shovel, because there's less resistance going into the pile. And so it, it just does a nice job. And then I also have this garden weasel. This has been a handy tool. It's, it's kind of like a tiny or a mini cultivator. It's a... Uh, it's good for when you're, you know, you go through and till your soil. This will, it's good for breaking up the clumps. It's, you know, it's good for when you go to, to um, direct sow some seeds in your garden to run this down at it a couple times. This actually leaves some little furrows, you know, and so it's also handy. You know, speaking of fur furrows, you can also use just the corner of your rake when you go to plant, direct sow your seeds. It's just another little garden trick. You could just, and you just run it down the corner down. Uh, that's another handy way to, you can use your garden rake. So over here on the shelf, then I have some garden hand tools that I use, but you know, before I go over those, uh, you know, I was just thinking when you use your some of your long-handled shovels, your pointed shovel for digging, or even your garden fork, this is the, you know, I always, sometimes I see people working out in the garden with their sneakers on, you know, but there's really no s support there, you know, or, or strength at the bottom of your shoe. Like this is my work shoe that I have on right now. But it's got a pretty thick sole on it, you know, so it helps support your arches. You know, because you gotta put a lot of pressure on those shovels and, and uh, garden forks and, and so on. And so having a good work shoe like this, you know, really uh, it's gonna help protect your foot. So the first in line on some of my hand tools here, this is just a typical hand trowel. It's got a nice rubber handle on it, a good thick shank. And uh, you know, this is really handy for, if you have to dig in some four inch pots in your, in your garden or six inch pots even, you know, this'll, I'm sure you're familiar with the, the typical hand trowel, but it's just a good all-purpose trowel. It's also good if you're going to direct sow some seeds in your garden. You know, again, you can use the just the point or tip of your trowel and run it down the soil to create a little furrow for your for your seeds. Uh, I also just use my fingers sometimes. You know, it depends on what you have around at the time. Uh, 
This is also handy. This is like a combination hoe and cultivator. I ended up did, I did end up buying this one from Lowe's a couple of years ago, but it's a nice fiberglass handle, and uh, it's just good for for digging certain things in the, in the soil. Um, and so this is also helpful. This is another handy one. This is just a little garden rake. This is good for going around your vegetables in the garden if you need to to just if you if you do some um, if you install some compost you know around your garden or or mulch around your plants. This is good for just getting in around your plants and uh, it's good for aerating your soils up close to your plant. This here is a three prong hand cultivator. This is good for you know, weeding up close around your plants where you don't want to disturb the roots, but this also will help tilt the soil up a little bit, scratch the surface in. Sometimes if you side dress with like, I use my alfalfa pellets, and if you, you want to work that into the soil, like this is a little hand cultivator, it's good for working this into the top couple inches of your soil. This is also handy. This is just my a little Sierra saw that I use. I used to use this for camping. It folds up, but it's got a, it's a nice serrated teeth. I mainly use this for cutting the thick stalks on my broccoli. And so this has just been handy to have. It really cuts right through the broccoli really easy. And then just a couple pruners. You know, are really handy to have in your garden. This is a pair of bypass pruners. And it's just really to, handy to have around your garden when you go to pick your melons. Or Again, I always encourage people to use pruners when you go to pick the peppers off your plant. At least for me, I, I have, have not used pruners in the past and you end up, sometimes the peppers can be hard to get off the plant. So, and I end up breaking the branch off where there's other peppers, you know, which then it ruins the peppers. But uh, sometimes, so I'll use this, these to cut the peppers off the plant. Uh, this, these are anvil. This is called an anvil pruner. Uh, this is an old, old one, but it's something I picked up at a sale years ago. But uh, they're both really good to have around the garden. And then uh, a watering can. I bought this from Ace Hardware a couple years ago for twenty dollars, and I just saw them on sale for fifteen dollars, and which is a good buy. But this is a like a two-gallon watering can, and I just love this thing. It uh, really comes in handy. And then just recommend to have a good pair of work gloves around. These are some leather ones here that I'll sometimes use. And then these are also the rubber-coated uh, work gloves. I ended up getting a pack of five of these from like Lowe's a couple years ago and these have really worked out well. I hope this video was able to give you some tips and ideas on what you can use out in your vegetable garden. So I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you have a tool maybe that I haven't covered today that you use in your garden that you really like, please feel free to share that in the comment section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.